Environmental research based on science is great, and we've seen lots of progress with it. But over the last decade, thanks to digitization of everything, we now have lots and lots of data. And we can use this data to get lots of new insights and have artificial intelligence models really train on this data to show us stuff that was just not possible to see before. The planetary computer is like the digital twin of the Earth. Basically, all kinds of data pertaining to the Earth is collected and organized in a way that any application can get all kinds of layers of data about a particular region from the planetary computer. What we are really trying to enable is that if this digital twin can be created, all kinds of new applications can now be built with it and existing applications can actually get richer because of it. Planetary Computer came out of Microsoft's sustainability commitments. We needed a way to understand just what all of our resources was and taking all of the geospatial, spatial temporal data that goes into answering that question was a real challenge. We needed a way to catalog it, query it, and analyze it. And it's just a, a big data management and data analysis problem. Uh, the Planetary Computer is a platform that makes that feasible. The four major components of the Planetary Computer are the data catalog, the Stack API, the Explorer, the Hub, and we also have a set of applications that help us show what is the value that the planetary computer brings to real case scenarios. We provide an API that helps you build applications on top of the planetary computer. To mention some of them, we talk about carbon offsite, land monitoring, deforestation, how do we help the maritime services to monitor the changes in the ocean and preserve ecosystems? So Microsoft has a big investment in agriculture. We consider agriculture is one key area for all the sustainability needs that we have in the planet. And for that, the planetary computer provides an open data catalog that really supports the management and the monitoring of pieces of land and that is a real need for precision agriculture or data-driven agriculture where they really need to get access to all this spatial temporal data in order to generate the right analytics and insights and make decisions around the management of the pieces of land. The world right now is facing a climate crisis, so we're going to need all the tools that we have available to us to face the challenges that we'll be seeing. And the data about our planet will be so critical to understanding how our planet is changing to be able to monitor, model, and ultimately manage Earth's natural systems to meet our goals. The Planetary Computer has over 50 petabytes of data in cloud optimized formats that comes from a wide range of sources, over 90 different data sources, including government agencies like NASA and the European Space Agency, along with derived data products from companies like Impact Observatory. We're growing that catalog and we're working with users to bring even more data sets into the Planetary Computer, even more formats, even more services that make it easier to utilize that data. I find working uh, in this field and, and particularly on the planetary computer to be very compelling because there's a lot of urgency around it. Just being able to support broader efforts that are focused on sustainability challenges, um, being able to uh, work sort of adjacent to and supporting fields that I don't have a great deal of expertise in, but I can bring my expertise in, in data and computation um, and geospatial and spatial temporal data in order to sort of scale up the efforts of other people to sort of focus on their own expertise. Microsoft is, a, is really a company which is at the center of digitization of the world. And we want to be where all the, you know, the customer need is, where all the problems that, you know, people, our customers are sort of confronting and dealing with. And in that mission, the planetary computer is a natural thing for us to work on. The other piece which is very important is that developers has been Microsoft's, you know, mainstay right from the founding of the company. And this is a new class of developers, we believe, who can uh, really come onto our platform and really benefit from the planetary computer.